Welcome to our lecture online. Now continuing to the various properties of the chemicals in the world and the world itself, the earth itself, well let's take a look at water again and why water is so unique and why we owe our existence to those special properties of water. Water turns out is the best solvent in the universe, bar none. Imagining that life could exist without water, wow, it's like imagining a fish could exist in the Sahara Desert. It's not going to happen. Water is so basic to all life that it's hard to imagine life without it. And again, for a place for life to be able to exist, lots of water is absolutely a necessity. There's virtually no water left on Mars. There's virtually no water left on Venus. Those are completely inhospitable to life for that reason alone on top of many other reasons. On the Earth, there's plenty of water and therefore there's plenty of that perfect solution that we can dissolve things in. Well, the reason why, life is, uh, why water is so unique, it's called the universal solvent. It can dissolve just about any compound. There's exceptions. Fats, for example, do not dissolve well in water. But virtually all chemical compounds will dissolve in water. And that's because water is a very strong polar molecule where on one side it's very positively charged and the other side is very negatively charged. On the oxygen, that's where the negative side is. On the hydrogen, that's where the positive side is. And because of that, it can pull and tug on various molecules around it when you put them in the water and it pulls those molecules apart because the forces between those positive and negative sides and the other molecules are fairly strong and therefore it's able to dissolve materials quite easily. Also, it provides the basis for, for basic and acidic solutions. For example, if there's a lot of hydrogen ions in the solution, it becomes acidic. If there's a lot of hydroxide ions in the solution, it becomes basic. And so therefore, water can provide those, uh, those uh, solutions that contain those, depending upon if you want acidic or basic solutions, again, by pulling those from other, uh, from other molecules. And finally, it is really good at hydrogen bonding and again the reason for that is because the positive side of the hydrogen and the negative side of the oxygen will actually attract one another where you can then see those molecules combining in not pure bonding but what we call hydrogen bonding and it can also do that with other molecules and so therefore there's various ways in which uh, water molecules can affect other molecules in the solution. All biological processes, virtually all of them I should say, of course I never should use the word all, but virtually all biological processes require water for these processes to occur. And it can be animal life or plant life, it really doesn't matter. It's hard to imagine that anything could work if water wasn't available. It's the perfect molecule in so many respects, including the sustainment of life in all various aspects, because it is such a great molecule at dissolving other molecules. And that is why we exist.